Dum 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 da 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 dum 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 da 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 Welcome to Flip. Today we will describe pictures. Describing pictures is a good way to learn a new language. You often need to describe new things or situations, and pictures bring the outside world into the classroom. You can use them to give your stories more details, or learn new words in a fun way. Let's start with some basic words that describe where things are in the picture. In this one, there's a group of three people in the center of the picture. In the background, you can see three mountains, but the group is in the foreground. In the top right corner, you can see some snow on the mountains. And in the lower left corner, we see grass or hay. The people sitting at the bottom of the picture are looking at the blue sky at the top of the picture. You probably know a lot of these words already, but it's good to review them before we go into more detail. Now that we know the basics, let's look at how to describe things in relation to each other. When you are describing a scene to someone who hasn't seen it, it's like you're painting a picture with your words, and that's what we are going to do now. In this picture, there is a woman. She is walking down the street. Beside her, there is a house. On top of the house, there is a roof. And some birds are flying above the house. Around the corner, next to the house, there is a bike. At the front of the house, you can see two windows and a door. In front of the house, a man is driving his car. Across the street, there is a cat hiding behind a tree. The dog near it is watching the cat. In a park behind the house, we can see a yellow trash can between two benches. Note that we always use the ing form for things that are happening in the picture. The girl is walking, the man is driving, and the dog is watching. And finally, you can make your story more interesting by adding information about looks and emotions. This woman looks very happy. She is wearing a pretty pink coat. It looks like a warm morning in spring. Pictures will help you find out which words are still missing from your vocabulary. It's up to you to use that and learn new words. See you in class!